Hey folks, Chris, once again, welcome back to your video. This is another question time from Peter yet again. And this is a video called, he wanted you to watch a video called Kid Behind the Camera, King of Manipulation. Now, I, I do enjoy Kid Behind the Camera, so I'm going to 100% disagree with this video, so. But let's, let's, let's see. So a year ago, I made a video on Kid Behind the Camera, and during that time of April 2021, mm. he was clickbaiting mm. like crazy. And still, mm. a year later, he's clickbaiting until mm. his day. For anyone new watching me for the first time that doesn't know who Kid Behind mm. the Camera is, if you're, I would say this to the end, I swear. If you think people are clickbait, if you don't like the people that 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 make these videos and why the hell do you watch them you know there's a thing called if you don't like a certain video don't fucking watch it i mean you don't have to make a rant on it i mean unless you're into that drama shit which i'm not i'm just forced i'm just forced to bring drama into my videos because people don't, don't stop requesting these kind of videos his name is Michael Brian Green. He was born June 2nd, 1987. He started his current YouTube channel back in 2011, where he made his very first video on that channel called Answering Your Questions. He was ready to upload due to the fact he made his channel five days before his first upload. As time gradually went on, he started to clickbait. It started off with him using his dead father as bait. His dad was also known as the angry grandpa, but soon passed away in 2017 due to cancer. Since he had the authority to do that, he decided pushing out more clickbait videos would help him out. It would basically be the same title every video, and he still does it till this day. So? Okay, you can you can start talking now. So, so when I send him picture, the camera justifies his clickbaiting for his father's sake. I mean, a small percentage of people would believe this, but I just don't buy it. He's obviously doing this for the money, and it's quite annoying to people. As of recently, or I would say for a while now, he has been using his girlfriend Bridget as bait. And if you're smart, you would know that's the only thing he could really milk off of. Yeah, I'm just gonna talk to the camera for a second. Um, are you crying? What? if you clickbait, but some of the stuff you can add on to these clickbait videos are really questionable. Like, is he really crying? I went over this for my last video when I made a video on Kid Behind the Camera, but he was interviewed by a YouTuber by the name of Boogie2988. He is a YouTuber with 4.15 million subscribers. He's been making videos for quite a while now. Turn down your volume. Oh my god. Sorry, guys. God damn. Do you have to make your video so ear rapingly fucking loud? But back to what I was saying, he responds to all the hate towards him because of his wild clickbait videos, and he says his father would be proud of him. I can't really speak on that because I don't know his father in person, so I wouldn't know the type of person he really is. I mean, he should let his legacy live on, of course, but clickbaiting on his name in a kind of sketchy way is just wow. I'm just surprised myself he hasn't made a type of video where he speaks to his dad through like a Ouija board. Oh, wait. We made contact with Grandpa at 3 a.m. I went through that whole video, and he didn't even try. Why don't you try getting, stop, stop French kissing your damn microphone and talking in it, and, and step back a few feet, you hear me? Contact him, what I'm calling his dead father. For most of the video, it was some type of hurricane that was coming towards his house, apparently. So he had to get ready and stuff, and I, I just kept scrolling through the video, and I didn't see anything that mentioned Angry Grandpa. Except for the end, uh, they mentioned him for about like 30 seconds. It had something to do with some ghost activity, but I'm pretty sure it was clickbait. I can't explain it. I, <laughs> I, I can't either. Like, here's the thing. Part of me was like, yeah. okay, maybe Kim might have, like, been watching a video, but it very clearly is coming through the phone. 
So that's like, that's apparent that it is coming through the phone, which means maybe it was Lauren. But a couple of minutes, or like at the same time actually, that that voice comes up, Lauren says, oh, I'm outside smoking, I can't see if the chair's moving. So like, I can't explain it. <laughs> I don't have an explanation for that. That's very weird. I, it was him. I don't want to say that because... <laughs> it was him. That's... Dad, if you're watching us over the storm, I would appreciate it, man, because I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to look at more things before I end off this video. And that would be one of Kid Behind the Camera's old videos. This video is called Kid Behind the Camera Spits and Urinates and Food Be Served to the fuck? Grandpa Exposed. I saw the whole video and I felt like throwing up. And there's also a possibility for sure that the video is also fake due to the fact it's been clickbaiting. But the only thing is that the video is years and years old. When was that so video uploaded? Exactly. But the only pose. I saw the whole video and I felt like throwing up. And kid behind the camera spit. Four. Dude, grow the fuck up. Suck it up. That was like four damn years ago, okay? That was a long time ago. Okay, he isn't doing it anymore, okay? Give him a fucking break, man. Fits and urinates and food be served to an angry grandpa. Exposed. I saw the whole. He did it one time, man. Calm down. The video and I felt like throwing up. And there's also a possibility for sure that the video is also fake due to the fact it's been clickbaiting. But the only thing is that the video is years and years old, so I don't really know exactly. Yeah. Oh, years and years old. The then why? You, then why are you so worried about it if it's that damn old? Oh my God! Stop. God, these people in their clickbait brand videos are... The video itself is him making chili with beans. He puts dog food in it too, and a bunch of other stuff. He spits inside the food too, and claims he's not in there as well. I can confirm he spits in the food, but I couldn't see him snotting due to the fact that the video is so old, it makes the quality so bad. Later into the video, you can see him quote unquote urinating inside the food and giving it to his family to try it out. It's gross, but it's years old. So just leaving it there actually. I don't think he would pee in the food, of course. So I'm pretty sure it's water. Because if he did pee in it and his family tried it, it would mean that the person could be exposed to nearest diseases. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I finally came back to talk about Kid Behind the Camera once again. If this video does well, I might do another video with different information and it might be possibly longer. In conclusion though, don't end up like Kid Behind the Camera. I don't care if you click bait, but don't be wild with it. There's multiple videos on YouTube of people talking about how he click baits. So if you guys want to watch that too, you guys can go right ahead. Other than that though, if you guys enjoyed, subscribe. It would mean a lot. I'll try to upload a lot more. And thank you. My name is Zoid, and I'm signing out. God, these people and their ear rippingly, ear rapingly loud, overzealous music. Oh my God. So Zoid, um, listen, man. I don't. I like it behind the camera. That video was like. 10, 13 years old, so why are you, why is that video such a problem since it's so damn old? I mean, I don't get it. It's a 13, 11 year old video, so get over it. But seriously, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to throw hate, but people bitch about these channels so much, and all they have to do is click that X on top of that screen of the video, and I can watch something else. So, but people just, they just wanna, just they wanna watch crap. Yes. Makes no sense to me, but oh well. So, with that said, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you guys later. Bye bye.